Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of Java that is Java JDK 21 on Windows 10 operating system. And after that I am also going to show you how you can easily write a simple Hello World Java program on a Windows 10 operating system and also run that on our console. So do watch the video till the end. If you face any issues in middle, please put a comment in our comment sections. I will try my best to help you. So, Without any delay, let's start our video. Now to install the latest version of Java, you need to first simply go to favorite browser and in that this bar, you need to just simply search with JDK download and hit enter. And this will show you this Java downloads. So here you can see that we have this www.oracle.com as our official site. So you need to open this Java downloads and it's going to redirect to the official site of Oracle. So this link I am going to put right in our description and here if you just simply scroll down you can see that we have Java 21 and Java 17 available now. So Java 21 is our latest version and Java 17 is a bit older version. So if you need uh, to install an older version of Java you can use Java 17. In this video I am going to talk about how to install latest version of Java which is Java 21. So I am going to you know simply scroll down and here you can see. We have this uh, uh, Java is available for Linux, Mac, OS, and Windows. So depending upon what operating system you are using, uh, you need to you know switch to those tabs. I'm going to switch to Windows as I'm going to install it for Windows. And here is our installer. So x64 MSI installer. Okay, this MSI basically means Microsoft installer. So this file is what you need to download. If you just simply click on this, it's going to start downloading our Java. You can see it is rightly started, right? So I'll simply close this as I have already downloaded it. I'll minimize my browser. I'll go to my download directory and here you can see we have already JDK 21 available, right? So it is downloaded locally on our system. And the file size is 162 MB. All right. So this is the file that we, we need to install. So just simply double click on the installer and it will show you this welcome to installation wizard for Java AC development kit 21. So you know uh, you need to just simply click on next over here and this is where our Java is going to be installed that is this C program files Java JDK 21 folder they're going to create. If you want to change this installation destination you can just simply click on change and you can give a proper destination where you want to install. I'm going to keep this default and I'll just simply click on next. And you can see that our Java installation has rightly began. So before that it will ask you for administrative privileges. So just you need to click on yes and when you click on yes you can see it is rightly started right. So let's minimize our download directory and I'll be waiting for a couple of minutes to get it finish finishing installing on our system. So after that I'm going to again come back to this video. So we'll come back and now you can clearly see that our Java AC development kit 21 is successfully installed. So you can just simply click on close now. So now that you know that our Java is rightly installed, it's time to set our environment path. So for that, you need to go to the search icon and just simply type over here environ. And it will show you this edit the system environment variable. So you need to open that. And it will open the system properties window. Here you need to just simply click on environment variable. And it will open this environment variable window. Here you need to click on path and you need to click on edit. So when you click on edit, it will open this edit the environment variable window. So here you can see all other different uh, paths are rightly mentioned. So we, we're going to add one more over here. So from here to get the path. So for that you need to go to your C drive and you'll get this program files folder, open that. And then you'll see this Java folder, you go inside that. And here you can see that we have JDK 21, right? So this is the location where we have installed Java. So uh, you can see that JDK 21 folder now. Okay, just simply go inside that folder and you will get this bin folder. Go inside that bin folder and you will get all lots of DLLs and all over here present, right? So this bin folder path, you need to copy this. Okay, so this path is what we, we, we are going to paste on our environment variable. So for that just simply click on new then right click and paste that path over here and click on ok. So now uh, we have uh, our Java bin folder path is added on our environment path. 
So after doing that, it's time to set our Java home. So for that, just simply click on new. It will open this new system variable window and just simply type over here Java underscore home and in variable value you need to right click and paste that path but this time to remember to delete this bin folder okay you need to keep this till jdk21 so here we are, we are basically setting our java home just simply click on ok then again ok and then again ok so now if you just simply go to your search icon again and just simply type over here cmd it will open our command prompt so on this command prompt, if you just simply type java space dash dash version and just simply hit enter, you can see that latest version of java which is java 21 is rightly installed on our system. So that's why you are getting that message over here because java is rightly installed. Okay. So if you see this similar type of message then all that basically mean is you have successfully installed your java. So congratulations. So after installing Java, uh, you can just simply uh, write a simple hello world Java program to test uh, yeah, and you can also start your Java journey. So first I'm going to create a Java folder and inside our Java folder, I'm going to create a new text document and I'm going to name this text document as hello world. All right. And I'm going to change this .txt extension with dot java and i'm going to hit enter and it will show you whether you'd like to change the file name extension click on yes and our extension got changed properly so let's open this file in our notepad so open with the notepad and here i'm going to write a simple hello world java program so class hello world and i'm going to you know give a open the parenthesis and close the parenthesis I'm going to write public static void main string args and I'm going to open another parenthesis and I'm going to end that parenthesis and within this parenthesis I'm going to write system dot out dot println and I'm going to print hello world over here. So hello world. All right. So now I'm going to go to file and click on save. I'll go to my directory where we have saved this file. So here is a spelling mistake. It will be hello world. So I'll just simply go to this address bar and just simply type over here CMD and hit enter. And this will open this command prompt over here and here I am going to write simply Java C and then the file name which is hello world. So hello world dot Java and hit enter and you can see that our program is successfully compiled and it has generated this hello world dot Java class over here. So this class is what we are we, going to run on our console. So I am going to write Java then hello world that is our class name hit enter and you can see that our output hello world is rightly shown on our console so in this way you can easily install latest version of java jdk on a windows 10 operating system and i and after that i have also shown you how you can easily create a simple hello world java program and how you can easily run that on our console so i will be also recommending you to install intel IG idea or netbeans id so I'll be putting those link in our description. So please to install Intel IG IDEA and NetBeans, which will give you, uh, you know, graphic user interface. So there you can code your Java and you can start your Java journey. So on those videos, I have given you a detailed demonstration on how to do that. So please do install those two softwares as well. And I am also looking forward to start one vlogging channel. So I'll be putting that channel link also right in our description. So if you want, you can subscribe that channel as well so that's basically all about this video thank you very much for watching this video please do like share and subscribe that will really help me to make more such videos thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all